Thank you, Trinity, for all the household goods and supplies that you brought in last week to help veterans exiting homelessness. Because there were so many kinds of different items, it's difficult to quantify with numbers, but these pictures should give you some idea of how much stuff was donated. Good work, Trinity. Over the next few weeks, we will continue to collect toys for our community toy store in December. All toys should be new, in the price range of say $10 to $25, nonviolent, and appropriate for a child uh, between 0 to 12 years old. Now, if you're like me and have no idea what toys are popular for kids that age, just ask one. I'm sure they'll have some ideas. Or you could watch on the Cartoon Channel and watch all the commercials if you think you could stand that. You can bring the toys in on Sunday mornings or drop them off during the week here at church. We also need volunteers to help with the community toy store. People to set up and take down the store and people to assist our customers. Please contact Teresa Middlebrun through the city or at Trinity if you're interested. Teresa doesn't let me help anymore because she said, I play with the toys too much. Oh well. If you're looking for a performing or artistic outlet, Josh Davies and Matt Watts are starting something they call Contagious Creative Community. It's an open stage night on Friday, December 1st at the Community Center, and it's open for all ages and performance levels. If you want to play music, act in drama or comedy skits, perform monologues, poetry, improv, or show off your artwork, this is a fun, low-pressure way to do it. Just show up at the Community Center on Friday, December 1st by 7 o'clock p.m. I'm here at the Trinity Daycare Center with with our new director of Trinity Daycare, Jamie Rigel. Jamie, welcome to Trinity. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your background in childcare? Sure. I um, have my bachelor's in early childhood administration. Um, I spent the last 20 years working for another childcare company and the past 12 years as the director of their Arlington Heights School. I live here in Roselle with my husband, Wayne, my son, Evan, who's six, and my twin daughters, Ella and Addison, who are four. Wow. Four-year-old twins. You have your hands full at home too, don't Thank you? you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. Well, what uh, what made you decide to go into childcare as a as a profession or vocation? You know, I, I just enjoy providing families with peace of mind um, when they drop their children off each day and head off to work. Plus, you know, I get to come in and see smiling faces, um, give hugs, rock babies, um, and be part of all the fun. So, what's not to love? Sounds good to me. Tell us what, uh, what do you think the future has in store for Trinity Daycare? Um, well, we're growing and we're hiring. So if you or someone you know is interested in working with kids, or if you're looking for quality care and education for a child in your family, come see us at Trinity. Great. Well, thank you for joining us, Jamie, and good luck here at Trinity. Thank you. Love God, love others, and serve the world. That is our mission here at Trinity. This weekend, we have the opportunity to make a commitment to do just that. In your takeout and in the pews are commitment cards that you can fill out. We try to worship regularly and take a Bible class or join a life group. We make a financial commitment to your congregation. Will you volunteer at church or in the community? Now, this is a private spiritual commitment for each of us. Pastor Mueller is not sitting in his office going through the cards and separating them into piles of who's naughty and Who's nice? And we don't make up a budget based on any financial commitment that you might make. So then why do we do it? Putting our goals in writing requires us to think about it a little more. It makes our goals more intentional. Trinity will send these cards back to you, or us, later in the year as a reminder of our commitment. Pastor will give you the opportunity later in the service to place your commitment on the altar if you wish, or you can place it in the offering. Last week, we celebrated Karen Mueller's career of service, teaching, and leading worship music. As she was also one of our main musicians, her retirement means we need some others to step up and share their musical talent here on Sunday mornings. Here's music director Andrew Schempf. We are looking for musicians and singers to help us out at our contemporary service. If you have the ability to play guitar, drums, bass, keys, or a voice to praise the Lord, please contact me. We can find a place for you to serve. I can't do it all. This week we have Thanksgiving worship at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night 
and 9.30 on Thursday morning. Happy Thanksgiving, Trinity.